29 forecast. You are looking live at a sunny and brisk downtown Charlottesville as viewed by our East Market Street weather camera. And we'll start to see a few high clouds increase from the south out ahead of a rain system that won't be too far away. Hello, I'm meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick. Now the next big thing I'm tracking from the weather center is going to be what's coming our way just before Thanksgiving. It looks like an East Coast rain system will begin to form and that's the day before Thanksgiving. Obviously a very busy travel day and it could wreak havoc on the airports and the roadway. So something to watch a week from tomorrow. But the forecast guidance continues to show widespread rain across the East Coast, and that could be our next best chance for some beneficial rain around here. Looking at this morning's weather snapshot coming to us from the top of Afton Mountain. Look at that beautiful scenery there. A few high thin cirrus clouds at daybreak, making for that red sky sunrise. In that first forecast for the rest of your Tuesday, daytime highs around 2 to 3 to 4 p.m. in the upper 50s to the low 60s on both sides of the Blue Ridge, similar to yesterday with a, a few clouds increasing from the south and with a near calm wind after sunset. We will drop from the 50s at 6 into the 40s and mostly 30s by daybreak tomorrow with areas of frost. 61 right now in Charlottesville after a morning low near freezing with areas of thick frost. And now we're going to see a quick rise over the next couple of hours and level off into the lower 60s for this time of the year. That's not too bad, really. Now the big picture is showing dry air once again. Here are those high level cirrus clouds especially on our southern horizon and those high clouds in association with a huge shield of rain from the areas of the Gulf Coast near the Panhandle, Florida. Most of the rain is offshore. Now this would be nice if we could get this rain, right? But it looks like it's going to head just to our southeast as they typically done over the past few weeks with, with a, a very small chance of rain heading our way on Friday as a cold front from the northwest. You'll notice that into the high plain states some clouds gathering eventually some of these will produce some showers in our area later on Friday, but I am not impressed with our rain chances anytime soon until perhaps a week from tomorrow. So there we go on future cast clouds fill in tomorrow. Less sunshine on Wednesday temperatures a little bit lower. The more sun breaks out on Thursday out ahead of that front. So these two systems will never merge, and that's why we're going to have a low chance of rain later on Friday. The forecast guidance continues to show little to no rainfall on Friday, and uh, we're talking about maybe a ground dampening shower later Friday into Friday night before we dry out and turn more seasonable this weekend. Hazy sunshine developing today with highs in the upper 50s and low 60s in your storm team 29 report a light northeasterly breeze tonight near calm overnight lows upper 20s and low 30s with areas of frost forming and your Wednesday outlook mostly cloudy skies more seasonable for this time of the year in the upper 50s and the lower 60s with a light south wind and that south wind will give us that boost in temperature upper 60s on Thursday sunshine that's my pick day of the week by the way Friday upper 60s could be a passing shower in the afternoon and the weather looks fine for the UVA game at Scott Stadium on Saturday upper 50s low 60s cold overnight lows near freezing with frost Sunday morning Sunday a high of 60 50s on Monday and dry but then next Tuesday and Wednesday Jared rain may become more likely.